You're watching the 2019-20 SCAC Men's Basketball Media Days. Today we're taking a look at the Southwestern University Men's Basketball Program. The Pirates, of course, coming off a 14-12 season a year ago, 11-5 in SCAC play, the SCAC co-regular season champs, and a trip to the SCAC tournament semifinals. The Pirates will be led this season by head coach Connor Kirkendall along with senior forward Brandon Alexander. And Coach Brandon, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Coach, we'll get started with you. You stay in the SCAC, but change jerseys now in your first year at Southwestern. You arrive in Georgetown to a team coming off a successful season. How do you approach that, kind of being sensitive to the success they had, but knowing uh, th that you also uh, want to implement your own style and your own kind of culture? How do you sort of blend those two things together, and what are those challenges in your first year? Yeah, I think one of my main goals coming in was to not rock the boat. Obviously, they've had success um, and, and much credit to the past players. Uh, coach Hightower, um, assistant coach Graham, who's still who's still here with us today. Um, you know, it's for me, there's not much to change um, in a lot of aspect because they've had success on the floor. They've had success off the floor with good, good kids, good student athletes. And so a lot of my main Priorities when it comes to, to taking over this program is just kind of instilling some things that's worked for me at Shriner, my other stops, kind of gel on that with what's worked for them here. And then hopefully we put something together where we're, we're going to put ourselves in a good position to be successful when it comes time to play. Brandon, in your senior year, how does this feel different? And, and how has that transition been with Coach Kirkendall? What has he brought in terms of excitement to the gym each day? Uh, yeah, I mean, it hasn't really changed for me personally. Um, just still, the summer was really hard, you know, getting to the gym as much as I can, weight room. Um, otherwise, the guys have been really looking like they've been improve, uh, improving on the, the stuff from the summer. Um, as far as Coach Kirkendall, he's brought a, a nice culture in here, uh, really, really high energy, um, kind of hardworking, and it's really showing in our practices throughout these, this past week and a half. Coach, you were hired back in May, and you still were able to do a great job of really keeping this recruiting class together. I think 10 freshmen in all. It's a big class, a unique roster, 10 freshmen, six seniors. You know, What are you looking for from that freshman class here early in these first couple of weeks? That'll give you confidence, and how much will you lean on kind of this big senior class to help them through that in the same manner? Yeah, man, once again, I, I heard a really, a really good freshman class. Um, got some some good size on the perimeter, some, some size inside. Um, I think with just any freshman class, no matter where you're at, a lot of it's just learning, taking in the process, um, kind of figuring out what it's like to be a college student athlete. Um, you know, once again, with the weird transition with a new coach, they have the luxury though of, you know, they're learning what we're doing for the first time, just as what our seniors are. Um, and so it's kind of helped, I think, in the fact it's taken some pressure off their shoulders because it's new to pretty much everyone in the program, what we're trying to do on both sides of the floor. Um, we're going to have some freshmen that are going to have a chance to play right away. We're going to have some other freshmen that just because we have so many upperclassmen, especially on the perimeter, that they might not get to play right away this year, but over long term, I think they're going to be good pieces for this program going forward. So it's a good mixture. It's a large class, as you mentioned, um, which will be good. Obviously, losing six seniors will, will help us out and transition into next year. But um, we're going to have a couple of guys that I think are going to have a chance to play right away. But it's just about learning, continuing to get better, and just been trusting in the process we have going here. Brandon, you're coming off such an outstanding junior campaign in which you were named SCAC Player of the Year. You also earned all region honors. How do you follow up a year like that? What have you worked on? You, you talked about the hard work you put in the summer. What specifically in your game have you tried to improve at heading into this senior season? Uh, just continue on uh, the, the techniques and fundamentals of my game. Uh, just keeping it basic, but still striving to, to get more athletic and stuff like that. But um, Team-wise, you know, we have another goal that we're, that we're in mind. Um, but personally, it's been a good year, a good summer for me. I'm looking forward to continuing these next few weeks practices and uh, getting the games going. Coach, what has your message been in these first uh, few preseason practices as far as, you know, trying to instill your philosophies, instill your culture? You know, what has kind of been in your first chance to be with this group and your first year with them sort of been the things that you've been trying to drive home with this team? Yeah, I think Brandon hit on it earlier. Uh, you know, I constantly try to preach energy and effort, you know, no matter what we're doing um, throughout practice, whether you're on the floor, off the floor. Uh, it's a long season. It's going to be some ups and downs. It's going to be a grind physically, mentally. And I think if we come with energy and effort with everything we're doing, it makes it a little bit more enjoyable. 
um, you know, at some point we're going to hit a wall, we're going to hit some struggles and some adversity, and usually if our energy and efforts at a high level, it usually allows us to get through it um, with, with more at ease. Um, and obviously I, I, I tend to preach a little more defense and physicality and rebounding on that side of the ball, so that's something that I've, I've tried to bring um, to this group and try to instill in them that, you know, it's a great way to put yourself in a position to be successful by being physical on defense, controlling the glass. Um, and so far, the guys have done a good job of, of buying into that and, and, and listening to what we're trying to coach them to do as a staff. And, um, and so it's still a process. It's a work in progress, but the guys are working hard. Brandon, as the, the first couple of practices have un unfolded and then this preseason is underway, what have you seen from, these, from this team, from your guys, that gives you confidence as you get prepared for the season? Uh, like, you know, like Coach preached on energy and effort, um, it's really showing in practices, you know, I, it, it, every day, you know, with, no matter what time of the day we have practice, you know, I feel like we're always bringing it and I feel like really motivated this year. Um, the 10 freshmen are really, really putting in work, um, really, really satisfied with them. They've been doing very well uh, often on the court, um, but overall, I think we're, we're obviously very motivated and ready to, ready to get this thing rolling. Coach, you certainly understand how tight this league has been in men's basketball over the last couple of years. A game or two in that win-loss column can, can really make a huge difference at the end of the season in terms of the standings. What challenges does the SCAC present in terms of navigating that schedule, and, and what will be key for, for your Pirates team to kind of get over those challenges and be successful this year? I, mean, I think I say this every year, and I, and I say it because it's true. Our league is, is unique in the fact from top to bottom. Anybody can beat anybody on any given night, whether you're home or away, you have a great opportunity to win the game, but you also, if you're not locked in and you're not prepared, you, you, could, you could drop one, no matter where you're at in the standings. And I think the last four or five years has also proven that preseason polls, where you're at, doesn't really matter. Um, it's about playing the game and putting yourself in a good position to be successful. Um, and so it makes it fun and enjoyable uh, because every game is going to be a tough test. I think the league's really balanced. It's going to be interesting to see how this year plays out with St. Thomas coming in the league. Um, it's going to be really talented. A lot of other schools that um, are bringing back a, a, a majority of their roster um, and so I think it's going to make it a really tough league this year and so for us and it sounds coach cliche but we're not really worried about conference right now we're really just trying to get ourselves ready um, for what we're trying to get done this week and get done today and tomorrow um, and then as we play a big 12 school in less than three weeks you know we're trying to get ready for that first as we get as we get closer to conference play we'll, we'll kind of figure out where everyone's at and where we're at and kind of get ready to go but you know yeah I mean the league's balanced it's going to be tough but you can say that for every league, every level, that conference play is going to be tough and you got to be ready to go. Finally, Brandon, to wrap things up with you as you've had discussions with some of your teammates as far as some of the goals that this 2019-20 Pirates men's basketball program you know, wants to accomplish. What, what are those discussions looking like and what are some of the goals for this year's team? Uh, so Co Coach has been touching on, you know, just trusting the process and trusting in the coaches, staff, and what they have planned for us these next few weeks. Uh, it's really just day by day, but you know, ultimately the goal for every team in the SCAC is to win the SCAC championship. But we're not too concerned about that right now. We're concerned about, you know, obviously the Big 12 school we play. Um, then we play St. Ed's in our first home game. Um, so stuff like that, just taking it day by day. But we know in the back of our minds what the ultimate goal is at the, at the end of the day. And finally, Coach, wrapping things up with you, this season is successful if what unfolds uh, in your eyes. What are you looking for from this group as you start a, a new era of, of men's basketball there at uh, Southwestern? Well, obviously, like Brandon said, I think as every program right now, our, our ultimate goal is to be competing for a conference championship when, when the season comes to a close and playing on Sunday when it comes to conference tournament time. Um, but in the day, it's just getting better, uh, you know, and, and being a physical team, um, and being a family, you know, when, when, when people come watch us play, they know our guys are having fun, they're playing for one another. Um, you know, when it comes to on the floor stuff, that's really what we want to try to continue. But once again, to their credit, the past coaching staff's credit, is we want to continue also to be success off the floor. These guys have had great success in the classroom, great success on campus in the community, staying out of trouble. So we want to continue to be a great program, uh, well-rounded all the way around. Southwestern University men's basketball program. Again, the Pirates will open up the 2019-20 season Friday, November 15th when they head to play Laverne out in California. The Pirates will be led again by head coach Connor Kirkendall along with senior forward Brandon Alexander. Coach Brandon, thanks so much for joining us today and best of luck as you head into the season. Thanks, appreciate it, sir.